folks, I'm Esther. I'm Nick. And we're Fashionmatic Off Grid. We've been doing a series for the last 13 days about our experiences at a permaculture design course at Wheaton Labs. We've gone day by day showing you our experience in real time learning about permaculture. This is the wrap up. This is a, a discussion of not only the event as a whole, but also some things we haven't talked about, about the event location and the event organizer. That's right. So we've been pretty careful uh, over the last couple of weeks as we um, as we do these videos to uh, to share this event. Uh, it was really important to us that we go and we learn from quality instructors uh, about a subject that we're passionate about, um, and we really really appreciated the way that the course was. Uh, organized by the instructor Tim Barker and all of the excellent instructors that that came through um, but we have had to be uh, very careful to in the videos focus on the content of the course so there's an elephant in the room here which is Paul Wheaton who is the um, the the force behind Wheaton Labs and the person who invited us to come and take videos of this course, or who, who arranged with us to come and take videos of this permaculture course. Um, having been on his property for two weeks, we have to state unequivocally that we do not endorse Paul Wheaton, we do not endorse Wheaton Labs. If it's possible for you to access these wonderful instructors in some way, um, we suggest that you do so, and we're going to provide as much contact information as we can for all these instructors. However, what we experienced with Paul Wheaton at Wheaton Labs was not only um, a, a leadership difference, we had known going in that there were some difference in leadership styles, we actually experienced um, really serious problems with um, emotional abuse, issues of sanitation and safe structures for the people who are living and working there, and also for ourselves. We've, we have children. And we very quickly came to a point where we, we were eating our own food, drinking our own water, and we even had our own toilet facilities because of concerns about, the, about those, um, those uh, facilities on the property of Wheaton Labs. And we want to make it uh, very clear as well that this is not designed to be uh, a takedown or a, uh, a, uh, a dish session necessarily, um, but we owe it to our, uh, to our viewership and to anybody who's interested in permaculture and may stumble upon our permaculture videos um, in the context of, of Wheaton Labs, uh, we owe it to them to, um, to share our true experience of, of what we had here. So this is based on actually being there, and I know that it's in a short context of, of only a couple of weeks, but in that two weeks, um, we had uh, a positive experience with permaculture and permaculture instructors, and a negative uh, uh, experience of uh, the owner of the property, and uh, and could not, in good conscience, say that it is a permaculture site necessarily from our very limited ex experience of permaculture. Um, <clears throat> or that um, Paul Wheaton is necessarily a good person to spend time with face to face. Now I will say that uh, Paul has has done a lot of work to promote permaculture and to, uh, as he says, infect minds with permaculture. And through his uh, through his forums, uh, he has created a powerful conduit. Uh, uh, through which to communicate about permaculture and has uh, and has created a gathering space for it. Um, however, uh, from what I've seen and just my my short time there, um, uh, he is not somebody to look to for first-hand knowledge of permaculture systems. He's well studied. He has read a lot. He has talked to a lot of people. He is well circulated. Uh, however, the, the evidence that I've seen is that uh, it, is, it is not from hands in the dirt, feet in the, in the manure type of experience. So um, take that for, for what you will, um, but I, I have a lot of trust for people who, um, who get down and dirty and only report back uh, first-hand results. 
And we do hope that you'll all take this video as our opinion. Of course, it can only be our opinion and our experiences, but you wouldn't be here watching our channel if you didn't have some, uh, if you didn't consider it our opinion, at least at some level, worth considering or worth listening to. And it's because of that and because we have already done two dozen videos which were located on Paul Wheaton's property, which have skirted some of the more complicated issues. We had a strange couple of weeks, and those of you who know us well may have been able to read that in the way that we've been behaving, just as we were literally having our minds, our, our minds blown, our horizons opened by this design process that we were learning from Tim Barker. We also were experiencing a, a very strange, um, strange living conditions, a strange setup at Wheaton Labs. Um, and it wasn't possible for us to process that on camera simultaneous with the uh, material that we were learning. Um, but we're now off site. We're having a lovely time and I can't wait to vlog about the next steps in our journey because we are really having a great time where we are now in Northern Idaho. Um, but we felt that we, we owe it to you and to ourselves as people of integrity to say what we witnessed and experienced at Wheaton Labs is not something that we can endorse in any way. We cannot send you there. My largest concern is one about false advertising. I believe that particularly for the boot program or the gappers program, if those are things that you're familiar with from the Wheaton Labs um, uh, terminology, that people are coming believing that there's some kind of expert instruction, that they're going to be receiving a great deal of information in return for labor. And, and uh, f from what I've gathered, it's um, uh, people go there expecting to have uh, some hands-on time with, um, with farming, with animals, and none of those things uh, are really happening to a great degree uh, on site. So I, I feel that uh, having talked to uh, a lot of people on site, there's some disappointment when they realize that um, there, there aren't those systems being implemented uh, on site. There might be a great exchange of, of information, uh, but in, in large, uh, uh, to a larger extent, it seems like there's a one-way exchange of Paul's opinion, rather than a um, sort of a, a survey of how permaculture is being practiced as a whole. My first concern is with false, false advertising. My second concern is with safety. I am a person with children and I take this very seriously having lived off grid for four years. I have kept my children in safe and sanitary conditions that entire time. There hasn't been any need to, to promote suffering alongside our alternative lifestyle. Mm -hmm. For the people who are, um, who are tenants at Wheaton Labs, it's my understanding, and again, you have to take this as opinion as just what Esther saw and experienced at Wheaton Labs. It is my understanding that they are not allowed to tell people where they live. They are not allowed to associate with local community, which for me is a huge red flag. And secondly, they have a locked gate uh, they're behind a locked gate so that emergency vehicles would not have access to them. This is another huge red flag. We also already know that for tenants there are a number of complicated rules that they are expected to follow. And the, the upshot of that is that almost all of them, or perhaps all of them, have broken some rule at some point because the rules are so complicated, which gives the, the landlord kind of free will to evict or threaten to evict anyone at any time. Now these are not my experiences, these are someone else's experiences, but as a person of ethics and a person of integrity, I can't have told you about Wheaton Labs for two weeks and then not also tell you that I saw some huge red flags there, things that I'm concerned about. If you are thinking about becoming a boot or a gapper or an ant over at Wheaton Labs, please feel free to contact us and we are not interested in brainwashing anybody, we just have our own perspective to share, but we will share it freely and, and we're happy to tell you what we've, what we've seen and heard. Absolutely, and we'll be working over the next uh, couple of weeks to uh, curate a, a list of other PDCs through people that we've uh, met and have a lot more experience in the field than us. Um, we really just have this one experience to respond to. Um, so we hope to be able to provide some alternatives to you and uh, at least uh, open your minds beyond uh, what comes up uh, first on a Google search when you're looking for permaculture in North America. Um, uh, I also want to say that um, uh, 
uh, it is just it, it's my opinion that uh, the greatest resource uh, that that permaculture has uh, is uh, the humans involved in it. Um, and if you're not taking care of the humans that are willing to come and do uh, the work that you set out to do, then you're not practicing permaculture. Um, it, you're practicing an, an older uh, an, an older system uh, which goes by a lot of names, uh, but I think she, dang it. That's okay, just keep going. Okay. Uh, There's a truck over there, but we're not going right, to cut this. We're not worried about it. Um, uh, I, I just think that there's, humans have gone to great lengths to, uh, uh, to get along better than having a uh, hierarchical or uh, dogmatic approach to, uh, to anything. So um, that was the red flag for me, that, um, that the humans within his system uh, are, are disposable. That's my opinion. And just as a tip too, uh, to end on a note of encouragement or positivity, it, it is our intention everywhere we go to take uh, the most positive elements out of where we've been. And that's why we went to a great deal of effort to show you the wisdom and knowledge of the guest instructors who are passing through Wheaton Labs, often for only one day at a time, who have a great deal of information and wisdom to share. And we're now on the road, we're, our time is our own at this point, and we are going to make a point to find expressions of whether you wanna call it permaculture or not, we're not concerned about, but of, of alternative lifestyles and lifestyles closer to the land, which really do exhibit also ethics that we can promote, that we can be proud of. And we have no doubt that we as individuals are able to sift through those different options. No one needs to be caught in a trap in which being, having access to knowledge also comes with some kind of misery or suffering or lack of safety. We really believe that each of us has the ability to make the best of our situation and to move forward as independent entities with courage really making the lives that we want to live. So you can continue to hang out with us if that's what you're into. And uh, we're looking forward to, um, to the next steps for us building our homestead and our life. Absolutely. Uh, thanks for supporting us and watching us and uh, we look forward to um, bringing you more of just uh, what we're looking for. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.